Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions, Lesson Number 6, Exponential Modeling with Percent Growth and Decay, Holic Review, Part 2. And where we're continuing with question number 5, uh, make sure you catch Part 1, where we did questions 1 to 4. Uh, make sure that you, yeah, we use the same, basically some similar, same models uh, and trying to figure out which of the following matches the information we have here. If you find these videos helpful, especially this one, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to know when new videos are added to the channel. So, which of the following equations would model a population with an initial size of 625? that is growing at an annual rate of 8.5%. Again, the form we have in this case, A of T is equal to A sub zero times one plus R to T power. And A of zero is equal to our starting or initial value. So starting value, okay? And in this problem, the starting value is gonna be 60, 625. So A sub zero is equal to 625. And R is the annual rate of increase. So rate of increase, decrease. So rate of change. And we see that the rate of change is 8.5%. So R equals 8.5% or in as a decimal, 0 0.085. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the A sub zero and the R value. So we get in this case, A of T, the amount after T units of time is equal to 625 times one plus the rate, which in this case would be 0 0.085. Raise the T power. Well, that would look more like 625 times 1.085 to the T. And they use letter P, so population-wise. And so that matches up with choice number two. Okay, don't forget we're with one plus the rate for the change. Okay, so, and of course, if they're, if we're increasing as a plus, the rate's positive number. If, our, if we're decreasing, our rate's a negative number. Number six, the acceleration of the object falling through the air will decrease at a rate of 15% per second due to air resistance. So we see in this case, it, the, the, the acceleration will decrease, decrease of course is the important part at a rate of 15% per second. If the initial acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second, per second or really second squared, which is the following equations best, mo best model acceleration t seconds after the object begins falling. We keep going back to our model. A of t, the in this case acceleration after a certain amount of time, equals our initial acceleration times one plus r raised to t power. And we see in this case, the initial acceleration a sub zero is equal to 9.8. That's our starting acceleration. Our rate, however, because decreasing will be negative 15% or negative 0 0.15. So now we'll plug these values into our formula. The acceleration A of T is equal to A sub zero, which is 9.8 times one and so we can do one plus a negative. What we're really gonna do is change to one minus the positive, or in this case, one minus 0 0.15. Raise the t power. And if we combine everything together, we have a of t is equal to 9.8 times now one minus one minus the 0 0.15 is gonna be 0 0.85. Well, 0 0.85, raise the t. And so this will be the model for acceleration. And the one that looks most like this one matches up will be choice four. All right, so again, same exact model, all right, because of the, we're doing with this case, the percent growth or decay. Here we have decay because the, the acceleration is decreasing over time. 
Number seven. Red Hook has a population of 6,000 tour people and is growing at a rate of 8% per year. Rhinebeck has a population of 8,700 people and is growing at a rate of 6% per year. In how many years to the nearest year will Red Hook have a greater population than Rhinebeck? So we'll call Red Hook maybe, uh, I guess we'll call it um, maybe H h of t for the hook and that's equal to initial value h of zero what happened to the a's it's the same thing all right h of t a of t h of zero a of zero it just means initial initial starting values okay one plus r to the t power and for rhinebeck i'll use b so because because it's red hook and red rhinebeck start all both start with r but red hook has h for hook and Rhinebeck is a B for Beck, so so B of T, that'll be the population of Rhinebeck, is equal to B of zero times one plus R to the T power. Now for Red Hook, our population starts off with six thousand two hundred, so H of zero is equal to six thousand two hundred, and the rate is eight percent per year, so the rate is equal to 0.08. For Rhinebeck, the population starts off with 8,700. So B of 0 is equal to 8,750. While the rate of increase is going to be 6% per year. So R is equal to 0 0.06. That would mean H of T is equal to, we see in this case, 6,200 times 1 plus 0 0.08 to the t power, or 6,200 times 1.08 raised to the t. For Rhinebeck, B of t, the population of Rhinebeck, well, B of 0 is 8,750. So that's times 1 plus the R rate is 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to the t power. So in this case, this is equal to B of t is equal to 8,750. 50 times 1.06 to the t power. And so we want to figure out in, you know, in how many years the nearest year. Well, here's the thing. We could make a table, all right? We can make a table and compare them and see which one is going to where their where the Rhinebeck will be again the the equation um, where the Red Hook will have a greater population than Rhinebeck. So our inequality will actually look more like this. So if you want Red Hook again, Red Hook. In how many years will the nearest year will Red Hook have a greater population than Rhinebeck? So Red Hook is H of t. When will H of t be greater than b of t. Okay, so we want to figure out in this case, the inequality we're going to use is 6,200 times 1.08t. When is it greater than 8,750 times 1.06t to the t power? Now, at this point, this is the inequality we want to figure out. And we could just start plugging numbers in, like 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Show the inequality, equation of quality, solve it, and solve, it, uh, solve it, and solve it graphically. Now, graphically, I'm probably going to grab my graphing calculator for this one. So let's pull up the graphing calculator. So the first graph y is equal to, go to y is equal to, it will be, I believe it was 6,000, 6,200 and times 1.08 to the t, while well, Rhinebeck was 8,750 times 1.06 to the t. Let's go write that down on the side. Now we'll type it into our calculator. All right, so y1, which on our graph will be the blue graph, 
we'll read 6,200 times 1.08, close parenthesis, raised to the, now with that T, but X will be the variable we're going to use here. Okay. Then we're also going to take a look here and, and say, take and type in 8,750, 8,750. All right. But this times times 1.06 raised to the x power. Oops, didn't raise it. So let me just go back here, delete this, hit the arrow caret button, and here we have x. <clears throat> now, because we're graphing this, all right, I would probably gonna basically change my settings here. So let me go to my window and my x min will be zero, okay? So not normally, normally we have from negative 10 to positive 10 because we're talking about time, our x min will be zero. And for x max, you know, let's set for 10 years and see how it works out. If we need to adjust it, we will. Now you're saying, what about the rest of the stuff? We don't need to worry about it, though. Just uh, from zero to 10, and we'll use our zoom function. So we go to zoom, and we go to zoom zero, which is zoom fit. Zoom fit means we're gonna fit the picture in the window based upon your domain of zero to 10. And there we go. Oop, doesn't look like they meet here. So probably further out, probably further out. Okay, so we'll change the window again. All right, let's make this to 20, to 20 here. Okay, and we'll hit again, zoom zero. Let's see if they intersect. Oop, they intersect right around here. Now, we'll see in this case, again, the blue graph is going to be Red Hook, and the red graph is Rhinebeck. So we're going to use our second calc function here, and we're going to use intersect. That's going to tell us where the two graphs intersect. Now we're going to move this cursor closer and closer to the point of intersection. And you'll see in this case, X you know, gets you know, further and further. It looks like it's going to be close to 17 years. We could basically use a trace. It looks like maybe 18, but just in case, once we have the cursor right by the point intersection, we hit enter three times. One, two, and three. Our point intersection is going to be 18.43. And the population will be approximately 25,609 people. So 18.43, all right? So that down, year 18, eight, after 18 years, 18.43 years, okay? And so now, to the nearest year, at eight, after 18 years, it's still not enough. So we will say in this case, T is equal to 19 years, all right? Why? We want to type in the following, make sure we have the font okay. All right, we say in this case, after 19 years, because 18 is not enough, we go to the next year up, after 19 years, the population of Red Hook, Red Hook, will be greater than And the population of Rhinebeck. Okay, based upon the graph we have for the calculator. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll make this full page. I hope this was helpful to you because this is the end of part two of our video. If you found it helpful, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care and be safe.